Well, hello folks, welcome back to the channel. San Martin, got another San Martin in today. Now this is uh, not a dive watch, although they call it a dive watch on their site. But anyway, they also call it a pilot watch. Now I'm not so sure. This is the San Martin SN029G. Um, so this is uh, this is not actually how they come now because they've got that new cylinder box with a, with a top on it. But you know, all is well, all is well. So whether it comes in that or whether it comes in these, you know, they're great. I think these are possibly a little more useful than those cylinder things because they're a bit more portable. Um, but anyway, let's get into this and see what we've got. There's the watch. You get your instruction book, uh, which is kind of neat, round, gold text on there, quite nice. And your new circular guarantee card, which is signed and dated, which is excellent. Always nice to see that. So let's just move this box out of the way. And while I'm doing that, uh, I need to give a uh, just caught that in there. I uh, need to give a shout out to uh, Simon over at Watch the Time, who sent this in for me to have a look at. Thank you very much, mate. Really appreciate that. Uh, so please head over and go and give him a sub. Go and watch some videos. Show him some love. Thank you very much. Anyway, let's get into this. Now then, they uh, they do list this as a pilot watch. Um, but uh, I would put it down more as a field watch, personally. Um, only reason being is its size. It's perfect size for a field watch and a bit too small for a pilot watch, in my opinion. Um, what we have is a case size of 38.4, including the crown, is 42.3. We've got a lug-to-lug -lug of 42.7. You can see we've got some drilled lugs there, which is excellent. Well done, San Martin, for that. Uh, a thickness of 11.6 millimetres. Uh, flat sapphire crystal there, so we've got no doming to think about. Uh, we've got a lug width of 20 mil and an overall weight of 89 grams. Uh, and I think that uh, as a, a kind of a field watch aesthetic, um, this is actually pretty nice. Uh, moving on the dial. Um, everything is printed. You've got a, a, a printed uh, minute track around the outside. Uh, San Martin, which is also printed at the, just below the 12, and then automatic 200 meters just above the six o'clock. Uh, inverted triangle and a mixture of circles and battens, which are applied loom, I believe, or yeah, you know, whether how they print it on or however they do it. Uh, as I said, sapphire crystal, there is some AR, you can see that kind of going blue as it kind of catches the studio light. And as you can see, we've got a fully bead blasted case, which is actually, I think, really cool. And it's done very, very well. Uh, everything is nice and crisp. And uh, I, I do believe there's some kind of a coating to stop this getting so, you know, too scratched. Um, but yeah, it's actually done really nicely. Moving across the other side, we have a signed screw down crown with the San Martin dollar sign. <laughs> I've seen various things that San Martin put on the end of their uh, crowns. Not sure that that's my favourite one though. Uh, but anyway, yes, it's uh, yeah, it's it's quite a nice thing. Kind of fence post style hands, lollipop on the end of the seconds hand, and uh, the indices are loomed as are the hands and the lollipop. Little red tip on the end of the seconds hand. Uh, inside of this is the good old Seiko NH35A, which is good and bad. It's good because it's a good, reliable movement, and it's bad because those of you that know, know that it's got a date, and there is no date on this one. So we have a ghost position. Um, but uh, unscrewing the crown is nice and smooth. It's got a good action, pops out nicely. Then you've got your hand winding. And to adjust the time, you are going to have to pull that out twice so that your movement hacks and then you can change your time and then pop it back in and then screw it up again, which is nice and easy, very smooth, good grippy uh, uh, crown on that. Uh, no problems with that at all. I mean, overall, the, uh, the quality of this, I think, is actually very good. Moving on to the strap, we have a uh, two-layered and stitched together nylon strap. And as you can see, plenty of holes for adjustment, and they state that it's eight and a half inches long, stainless steel, 
uh, hardware and then stainless steel buckle. I actually really like this buckle. It's nice and chunky and uh, got a good size to it. And that I think is actually really nice. That's, uh, you know, quite often you see that uh, brands do put their, uh, their name on the clasp. I think that that is actually very good and it is polished. So it does stand out quite well. So yeah, well done. Nicely done, San Martin. Quite like that. Um, so yes, that brings us on to the loom. And San Martin are known to be uh, pretty good with their loom and they apply it quite liberally. So we will do that. And then we will drop the lights and take a look. So here we go. And then lights down. Yep, no problem with that at all. And even though the uh, um, they've got that kind of faux tina thing going on, they've put enough loom on there so that it is a useful amount, evenly applied, and it uh, it does last pretty well too. So yeah, it's quite good. It lasts most of the night. So yeah, that is actually quite impressive. Um, on the on the downside of this one, yeah, if if it was me, I would much prefer to have the uh, NH38 movement inside so that you don't have that ghost position. Um, and uh, also, I mean, it's only a really, really, really minor thing. Um, yeah, maybe a bit silly to bring it up, but the fact they list it as a pilot watch and it's 38 mil, I think, you know, really it's a field watch. If they listed it as a field watch, you know, I think people searching for field watch are more likely to find it. Um, so, yeah, I think it's actually a really kind of really nice pretty cool nicely made watch screw down case back you know even that's done pretty nicely um, the only other thing is the only branding you've got is uh, on the, the dial the end of the crown and here you've got nothing on the back oh but you do have quick release on your uh, spring bars for your strap so yeah all in all pretty good nicely done San Martin these uh, I don't know if this is the sale price or not but they're currently they're around about 110 GBP. So if you like this kind of thing, yep, yeah, uh, head on over to AliExpress and go to the San Martin store. It's not an affiliate link or anything like that. Uh, I'm not going to leave links, so you know there's no point. Uh, just head over there, do a search for San Martin, and you will find it. If you like this kind of content, sorry Kevin, please give me a thumbs up, like this video, and. Uh, Give me a comment, let me know what you think of this. Let me know whether you would call it a pilot watch or a pilot style even, or a field watch. Um, but yes, subscribe to the channel. And uh, don't forget, please head over, give Simon a, a, a watch the timer, a look and a like as well. But uh, yeah, that's it for now. That has been the San Martin SN029G pilot stroke field watch. Um, that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video. Cheers for now.